real problem. The real problem is they should not have gone to Wadzilla in the first place. They should have gone to Shell and let Shell deal with this problem. And we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. But you see, we ain't getting to that because now we're in the problem. All right? So don't tell me that the staff is the problem. We got staff out there working round the clock tirelessly. Staff coming to work, they, 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 they get up at three, they having to be back to work at eight or nine o'clock. You know, you don't understand what we're going through down the beat here, right? The, then the jackasses let the staff go in December from the v -cell. I told them, do not do that, all right? Because we need to get to the summer. You think they're listening? No. They got their little advices from before, talking about people foolishness, and this is why we're in this predicament. This predicament. And if I hear about this overtime business one more time, See, they don't know where the staff going through, you know. Don't I be working in Nassau Village? Not Nassau Village, sorry, yeah. Monte Lights. The local, the local guy who was in charge of Monte Lights, the mall boss, he, he, he said, okay, your guys for next year. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to get to bed. And if I go inside now, y'all can get raw. <laughs> That's the only reason you want to get raw is because I out here with y'all. All right? This is what our staff is going through. We got a direct security director that came in from Freeport. I said to them, I said, listen, we got an urgent problem with this with the situation with our staff out there working at night. But that's working out there at night. Oh yeah, I can get to you. He been there for almost a year now, he ain't get to me yet. They don't check. They're not concerned with anything about the little cells wish to do. Alright? Hasty that hasty on Sunday, pull up on my job that I I'm supervising, making noise, but well, you know, he tell he tell the the, the, the um serving more. So you know. Guys out there, they don't, they don't have the PPE equipment, the PPE, personal protection equipment on. But of course they don't. We don't have no money to provide it. Reason is, the, 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 all the stores cut us off because they owe them all. See, I'm not the one to be messing with. I mean, I can I test it by this time. You only have me taste it. I am not the one to clown with, all right? Because I can tell the public exactly what you're doing. And see, our staff out there, we have to beg them to come to work. And I let them know, if I have this overtime one more time, I let the staff know, you know what, we ain't waking them overtime. We'll go with four and let the public really see the port my then. Because if we ain't out there working, believe me, they'll really be in trouble. I'm telling you, see, don't, don't deflect them on our staff. It's the, it's the stupid decisions that he's making as CEO that got us in this problem. And see, I'm telling the Prime Minister, I'm telling the Prime Minister and the Minister and the Cabinet, don't be no ass. This man making 300,000 a year. What? You're only making 150. The Minister's only making 100 and what, 10, 15 or whatever. The point is, listen man, you, it's time to make him accountable. All right? Yeah, this is a situation we gotta go through, but the public needs to be told the truth. Why is it every time I gotta tell the public what's going on, the truth? They can do the same thing I do. Tell the public the truth. They may not like it, but the point is, they know, well, okay, at least they're telling me the truth. See, last night, 10 o'clock at night, 9 to the 3, 9 to the 10 o'clock, the police called me. Hmm? May not listen, we got the Western Esplanade off, the lights was off from Nassau Street to, to, to Sanders Beach. I was working down in Sandy Park. I ran down to see this myself. They couldn't believe it. The whole fort shot off everything off. This is how bad it was. Mm -hmm. The point being is this. The police tell me, look at my man, we need to get his lights back on. We can't have those lights off at night. The tourists walking up and down there. Heaven forbid, something happened to one of those tourists, right? Yeah, it's an international problem. Listen, I tell the Prime Minister and crew, this is not a crisis, it's a joke now. It's a <coughs> catastrophe. And we need to get together and figure out how we can deal with this. Don't blame the staff. You know, I get very defensive with the staff when you when you blame with us. We ain't playing that. And I and I talking not only for our st uh, the staff that I represent, I talking with the managers as well. Don't blame us. We ain't this foolishness. Alright? Now, what they could do is BC pays two, I think two dollars and fifty cents, between two and three dollars anyway, for, for diesel. What they need to do is say to these businesses, because the business is suffering. They are really, really taking a hit out there. Yeah. Their generator's running all the time, knowing the generator's running, but now they gotta be worried with maintenance. Because you gotta keep the generator maintained for the weight. All right, for them to make the, the, the sell thing up, the sell goods. So, okay, what they could do is say to them, see, they worry about the staff and what we making. What they need to do is say to them, listen, we know what you're going through. What we can do here is this. We are gonna go ahead and allow you to get the fuel, the same price that we get involved. Mm. Look here, help the people along. Stop with the nonsense you're doing. See, listen, man. I, I, I'm telling you, 
one more time, if I hear it one more time with this overtime, the public will really know who carrying BC. <laughs> See, I already sit in there, every time I was, you know. When, I, when they call me at night, one o'clock in the morning, I gotta get up out of my bed. I gotta beg staff to get up out of their bed. They gotta leave their house. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in the darkness now, mm -hmm. right? They are there working, their family's home in the darkness. Mm -hmm. They leave their children. Tell these guys, these young guys. They got little children, little babies and stuff. They leaving their wives or their girlfriends or whatever in the darkness at home with these children. And they have to work. And you have no, you, they have no appreciation for what's going on. Meanwhile, the board sitting up there, you know, they're going home and they Jaguars and, 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 and they, 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 they fancy expensive cars. They're eating their crawfish and their, their pate foie gras and their beluga caviar and stuff. Drinking the finest and stuff. And they ain't checking for the staff. I ain't the one. I'm not the one to mess with. A lot of people have said the Prime Minister and even the Minister of Works has repeated that he specifically has said this is not a crisis. But a lot of people want to see this being addressed. They've addressed education, free tuition, but people say, you know, you can't be a country with power generation that continues to fail. Listen, Jasmine, listen. See, you know, you they listen to Hasty. See, the Prime Minister and the Minister, the, the Prime Minister is a doctor. The Minister of Wakes is a lawyer. Alright? I don't get political as you know. If the power go up, they didn't they couldn't find the light switch. Alright? Hasty, they provide them what he's telling them. What they need to get is an independent analysis mm -hmm. to make sure an independent person who can tell them, okay man, he bullshitting you. That's what they need to do. They need to make him accountable. I keep telling them, he is making 300,000 a year. Right? Flying up around the place, for his class, etc. Don't get mixed up. Meanwhile, the, people, the staff and beast is suffering. Your business people are suffering. The people are suffering. Especially the poor people. They're the rich, they got generators. You know, even the middle class, the upper middle class, they got generators. The point is, and that's a, and that's a, and that's a luxury. Right? A generator costing you 40, 40, do you realize they cost you 40 cents a kilowatt hour? Mm -hmm. right? That's what the generator costing you, right? It's more expensive than BEC. So you forcing people to run that, then you get the giving them these enormous um, mortgages, what you call a bill, mm -hmm. right? This is what you, people are going through. It needs to stop. You need to step in and get with this program because this can get over. This can overwhelm you. That's what happened. And I can tell you, Dodd and Rowena boy is not the one to mess with. Not me. A lot of people want to see some type of relief, but obviously that's not. Well, that ain't happen. Listen, the most you can do is go to church every Sunday or go to prayer meeting and pray that we have a mild November. Because believe me, <laughs> if we have a hot November, we can be no shed until December. Believe what I'm telling you. Take it or leave it from me. I, I say, look here, I hate to be. And you know, people say, oh man, man, I'll use a prophet this, that, and that. So I go to restaurants. I can't eat prophet. I can't go out. People bothering you. They calling me all the time. My phone ringing off the hook. I tell them, listen, I know prophet, you know. There's 31 years experience, I see this. Mm -hmm. I was there when they put in DA9, DA10, DA11, DA12, DA13. I was there when they put in number five, G number five, number four, number eight, the TA11 unit, G number nine, G number 10. I've been here, I've been around, number one. So, you know, I know what, I know what happens. And what they hope to happen, ain't gonna happen. It's simple as that. And I can tell you, they make it noise telling y'all, but oh, you know, we can get them new units by October, November, please. Mm -mm. If they come in by December, they good. And unless God come out of heaven, my opinion is, unless God come out of heaven and put them together, and mm -hmm. you know, that didn't happen. You can hope to see it in March. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Miss, so Mr. Maynard, uh, you know Graham. Of okay. course. Could I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, ma'am. Um, and, and if they're too, if they can't be answered, just say, Graham, I can't answer that. Yeah. I mean, but I have to ask, why are we running? Well, first of all, why is the company out of Freeport? I believe that's Emira. Mm -hmm. Why are they involved with Nassau's power? That's my first question. And that might be above both our pay grades. Well, you know, like I said, I, yeah. don't, I don't get political. I ain't got time for that. Cool. You know, they, hey, Steve, he's the CEO. His mission is he, you know, we give them right to monitor. He monitoring. That's what we doing. That's yeah. what we doing. So, next question: um, Is it true that we're running as much as eighty little one megawatt generators? One, we're more? supposed to be running. A Greco was supposed. A Greco was supposed to have a, have us one hundred and twenty megawatts in the ground now. 
of little generators. Right. And they're only doing 105 megawatts right now, so it'll be 15 megawatts short. And every and paying almost 30 million dollars a year, yes. So, wow, 30 million. Um, real quick, almost. okay, real quick. Um, what is our total needs in this country? 200 megawatt, 300? We need, in your opinion, about 260, 270 megawatts. So 300 would have us right. set and good. That's good. Yeah. My question is, Leslie Miller, who's the former chairman, he said that the water heaters are a third of our light bill, right? Well, you see the problem, listen, Graham. Listen. Could we cut those off? Graham, listen, if you, if you, go, to, if you go to Israel, yeah. right, there's a, solar pa- there's a solar panel on each house in Israel, okay? We, we, gotta look at, we gotta look at change in the ministry of works to look at the change in the whole building code. Yes. You have, to, you have to insist that all new houses have foam, you have to insist that all new houses have um, hurricane windows, which keeps, the, which keeps the, the house cool. Efficient. Right, efficient. <clears throat> you gotta insist that every house built has a solar panel. Simple. Simple. And, and then you, you, you have solved a lot, lot of your energy problems. Yes. Now my last question is, I've been hearing and I've done some research myself, and I see five, from Google Earth, I see five floating LNG, liquid natural gas, power plants in the form of a very huge barge that is hurricane resistant in Dominican Republic. One of which is putting out, the smallest one is putting out 650 megawatt. So that would be twice what we need. Why couldn't we bring one of those here short term and put it down at the Fish Fry West and plug it in? Again. I ain't getting into the good side of it. Right? But it would work, though. But yeah, yes. Yeah, you, it, it would work it would, short term. Yes, short of, term of course, yeah. while we redo our right, power yeah, plants yeah. and our solar. Short term, it would Well, listen, thank you. I'm going to leave my number with you because if you ever need to, get a, a, yes, if you need to get a press release out unedited, you can always call me because I will not be cutting any part of what you said. I appreciate you, sir. And listen, I appreciate all the good, hardworking people at BPL. And we know it's not, we know it's not the staff. It's never the staff. It's always management. Thanks, sir. Okay. And thank you for coming out of your bed. And the fellas that come out of their bed, is the security risk leaving your wife and baby home in the dark? That's correct. They could get hurt. God forbid. Have okay. a good one, eh? We can talk later. Absolutely. Okay. All right. All right.